I think Kitchen Gold has to say, finally, yeah, it's time to tell him. There's a very popular meme online. They say, should we tell him? In a sense that people in the situation not aware of what's happening and kept asking what, why this happened to me. So being a third person who see clearly uh, Kitchen Gold uh, appear as Mr. Zhang uh, in the form of a like a human, but very unordinary, very uh, um, uh, very magical kind of a person, uh, as an aura of uh, like Dumbledore, think of it that way, but more um, more more immortal kind of feel, uh, even though he's a human form. So Mr. Zhang asked him, um, and you know, basically just tell him straight away what happened. Is none of the things you say you did is right. Uh, it's it's real, and they all just for shows. Um, you bring out examples like the papers. You say you want to save papers, use it for better purpose, but then you use those um, reusable paper as a paper cloth, wiping the dirt. So it's unfortunate that you um, you did not follow follow what you said. You did not practice what you preach. Uh, it's also a good thing to remind ourselves if we practice what we preach so as well. Um, and then he said that I have known what happened to you guys for a long time and I've seen the way you do things. Um, even though you say you want to save lives, you want to let go of you know those uh, captive animals into the wild and nature, but none of the things you did are real because at the end of the day, after you did all these good deeds, um, you go back home and you have a plate of lobsters on the table. And those those um, animals are actually, some of them are killed by yourself. So <clears throat> that's the hypocrisy that happens to you. And obviously being, uh, as a person, we learn how to learn. We don't just look at someone else, sit down with a popcorn. Always remember this kind of sage teaching and this is a person who has fully transformed himself I'm putting a disclaimer out that this guy has truly transformed himself. Uh, he, 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 he has the courage to bring out all his shortcomings. That's the reason why he's success. And this is the reason why many of us doesn't. So, <clears throat> so let's continue. And also his mouth is very sharp. He's a smart person. He's a person who has knowledge, um, who studied a lot of books, especially Sage, talking about morality and um, how to be a rightful person, a righteous person. But the problem is he can't control his mouth and he uses this knowledge as a weapon rather than trying to better empower people. He uses it to hurt people. Uh, because he's smart, he knows a lot of Taoli, a lot of uh, teachings, theory. He, I, can see, I can see why like, he used that as a sort of like um, a way to release whatever whatever's inside. So... Uh, every time he debate, he wins, and every time he say, speak a word, he knew it would harm his friend. He's the only person who can be harmed by words are the people close to you. Other people, they just don't care. So these friends that he used to hang out with, his close friends, uh, he always followed the, he always used the pretense, not like he always used the um, sarcasm or some sort of um, <coughs> coward under so-called satire sarcasm. Uh, to say some hurtful words and he could not stop that's the worst part he could not stop so every time uh, your mouth has hurt someone uh, we will record every single one of that details said Mr. Jang aka the kitchen guard so basically it's a police officer coming to you and say this is the um, record that we have done of what you did this is the police data record here there you go so that's why you cannot get what you want and the last one is the thoughts. So actually, he combined everything. You can understand that it's about action, speech, and thoughts. Thought is the, the strongest uh, form of um, unwholesome thought on evil thought is sexual misconduct. Even though there is no actual misconduct, the thought of wanting to conduct a sexual misconduct is already there. So he, he said that you um, get uh, sway easily by the duties of the others, uh, especially uh, someone else, uh, empathy or something. I think I think you just say that beautiful people, and then you never uh, put your gaze away. So you hold your gaze on them too long, in a way that presents that your heart cannot be taken back. You cannot uh, you cannot um, uh, regulate your heart back to normal. 
So it goes away like a horse uh, lost its um, uh, lost its restraint. However, the thing is, you do not have the chance to commit misconduct. That's why uh, it hasn't formed into an action. That thought is already there, and so you have to. Uh, you, so your he he, he gives the alternatives to him. So what you can do is mis learn from Mr. Liu. And this Mr. Liu has the ability not to be swayed by the beauty, uh, not, not, not to be swayed by the lustful thoughts, uh, chasing after the, the desire to have lust. Um, so this kind of person can face everything uh, that we normal people would scare of, of ghosts, of spirits, or uh, natural calamities, or anything, without fear, because he has done nothing wrong. His heart is clear, clean. Um, so, you as a person who has formed a Wen Chang society, which is a society of people who educates to be good, uh, should be the role model of uh, pure thoughts. Um, but the problem is you have reached it yourself. So um, you have to think about that, something like that. Um, I've seen all the yellow papers that reports that you have submitted to us through the burnings of the report. Um, because this is spiritual ring, and the Ebony Emperor or Jade Emperor has um, uh, ordered me to have a look at your situation in practical, like practical survey, surveying what you are doing, and none of the action you did can be considered as good in its earnest form. So, sorry mate, your record is all black, basically. There's no good record. Um, uh, and he go further and, and say, he press the point further and say that in your personal, um, in, a, in your personal habitual capacity, that means when you're alone in the room or when you're alone out, out of the gaze of others, um, I have seen a strong, uh, your, your thought oozes, uh, greed, lust, um, jealousy, uh, Temperament, that temper, temperament, um, arrogance, uh, dwell on the past or hope, hoping, uh, wondrous, wonder into the future, action, and also remembers about uh, holding grudges. And everything is in your heart, never let go. So grudge is there, jealousy is there, greed is there, uh, sexual, um, lust is there, bad te uh, temperament is there. Uh, arrogance is there and dwelling on the past and hoping wonders, wonders in, uh, hoping hopelessly in the future. So um, those are all the bad thoughts that we say in Buddhist thought. And those things has already been recorded and your punishment will arrive very soon. Uh, will arrive gradually. So you could not, uh, like I say, the current punishment is not enough. It will, it will be more than what you thought. You have already suffered. Let alone uh, contemplating about getting any form of uh, good return or any form of fortunes in your way. So your misfortunes are yet to come. The bigger misfortunes are yet to come. Let alone any form of fortunes. Good luck, no. So he has already said it to these the most earnest word that he could put in. And Mr. Yu, obviously a person who still have reverence for the teachings of the gods, the teaching of the sage. Even though he's not earnest in action, he still study a lot of books. If you put this into the modern times, either Mr. Zhang get chased out of the room or get kicked and say, why do you say it? What do you think? You think you're a sage? Because there's no sense of reverence to any person anymore in the general public. So obviously I might generalize it, so just disclaim, but the common thought right now is it's rare, but he could accept it. There's one good point about Mr. Yu, he could accept it. And this is not something everyone could accept straight away in the face. It's easy for us for a third person perspective to read this from others chronicle when someone read out everything you did in front of you. It's, it's a lot of uh, courage to take it and a lot of wisdom to uh, humility to let go of that, um, how to say, primordial anger, that 
to 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 let it take over. So he um, actually was very shocked, and he actually cried uh, by lying on the ground, a sense of regret and sent, uh, regretting his own uh, wrongdoing. He, because he knew, if he actually read out his thoughts, uh, no one is more clearer than what you did than yourself. And obviously, a person who can see through him is uh, those spiritual beings. And he has a huge reverence for Mr. Yu, uh, Mr. Mr. Um, Mr. Zhang, aka the Kitchen God. That, therefore, this is the best person to give that advice. Say, so, Mr. You knew so much about me, something that no one could ever know because my thought, you know, my thought. Um, you must be the God Himself, the Kitchen God Himself. Uh, please. Um, Save me. Please save me. Mr. Zhang say, see, uh, Mr. Yu, you have been studying a lot of these sage books. You actually study the teachings of Confucius, maybe Buddhist book and Taoist, Taishan Gai Yin Pian, all that you know, cause and effect. You have known all these theories. You should read this as in Mr. Li or Mr. Whoever. Put yourself in his place and listen from Mr. Zhang. Um, you know that being kind is the best form of um, happiness. You know that um, doing good deeds is the best source of happiness because it opens up your world. Uh, and of course, when you heard someone has done good deeds, you always encourage them. You always encourage the good deeds to carry on. Uh, when you saw some good deeds, when you heard of good deeds, you always encourage and spread it. When you saw a good deeds, you always um, encourage them to keep doing it. Um, or help, help with it. However, you forgot almost immediately after, you, as, as soon as you praise it. So it's, it's not persistent, it's not a core in your life, it's just a thing that you like to see, but when you're distant from it, you, can't, you, you forget about it at all. That means your um, roots in believing in goodness is not strong. Uh, your, your strength, your... your, your confidence and your persistence in in preserving goodness is not deep enough. Uh, so your uh, persistence does not uh, solidify. You cannot, um, uh, you do not form a deep root in performing good deeds. Therefore, all sort of good that you did are only, um, can only say it's, it's floating. It's just to tick the box, put it that way. Just to tick the box, it's not earnest, it's not real. Just, just do it for the sake of doing it. It's not like, I really want to do that. I don't care what's happening, I will do it no matter what. Something like that, that sort of persistence. None of them is real. And beyond that, so you, you, like, the, you like to see good things happening, you like to see someone doing that good deeds, but you're not uh, earnest yourself in doing it. Um, however, on top of that, you also have a lot of bad deeds, uh, bad thoughts. Uh, your thoughts are very um, un uh, unwholesome, swayed away. And it comes out and down like a wave, very, very, very um, frequent. Uh, and it ties you up, clings you uh, tightly. Uh, and with this real situation that you are in, like this is your capital or lack of capital, your reality. And with that level you are in right now, you want to think of rewards from the above or rewards from, from life, you know, sort of good life. Uh, it's like you're planting a lot of uh, thorns on the ground, but hoping to reap some um, fat, uh, delicious fruit or grains. So you're planting a seed for thorns uh, or you're planting something that are absolutely not uh, going to grow into a delicious fruit or grains. So uh, it's, it's a bit ridiculous, isn't it, Mr. Yu? So your course is already wrong. So how can you, uh, how can you expect to reap a good rewards from that? So Mr. From now on, you need to think you need to uh, he's starting to help him now basically from now on 
as long as you have a thought of lust, thought of greed, thought of, um, um, of course, lying, in, in, in other words, it's not polite. It's, it's a different level. It's about uh, not saying what it is. I don't know the actual one word English word, but like kind of like trying to hide the facts. Um, so as long as you have a thought of greed, lust, um, thought of wanting to lie to yourself and others, uh, or thought of being fake, yes, being fake, uh, um, uh, and and etc. etc. All these wandering thoughts, you need to accumulate your strength, your mental power, your mental strength. And sweep it all away in one one shot. Basically, think of a samurai in one shot. So sweep it all away. So basically, you need to sweep away all, all this um, rubbish in your mental space. Clean it up. Pick them up. Clean it up on the shelf. Uh, and then that space, you only leave one one thought. You only allow one existence in that mental space. We call it the thought thinking space uh, that is good because you already study the book books you already learn what is good what is not good like Liao Fan like Tai Zhang Gai Pian the tribulations of the heavens cause and effect basically so you only leave that space for the goodness kind deeds uh, and then that good deeds that happens of, uh, that you encounter upon if you have a ability to do it go ahead just do it do not think of rewards. Do not think of fame. Basically, rewards in terms of fame or monetaries. And that good deeds, no matter it's big or small, or easy to launch or hard to launch, uh, do it earnestly. Just do it in your capability as long as much as you can. Uh, and then be patient when you do it. Don't rush. Don't rush to see the results. It might not happen in your lifetime sometimes. But let's talk about a small one. It might not happen today. It might happen tomorrow. So as long as you do it, and you do it earnest, you don't think about all that rubbish, like, oh, what if, what if? No, you just do it. You understand what's needed to be done, you do it. Just be simple, in a sense. In this case, being simple is good. Too much of that smart people thinking is not helping. Uh, there's a reason why Master Shen Gong can win the battle against habits and become you know, firm in pure land cultivation because he, although he has the wisdom of a six patriarch of Zen master, he do not show it and he keep it simple. That's what we should do. Okay, so if your ability cannot, if these good deeds are out of your capability, you need to be diligent. What does it mean? You have to be diligent. That means you can do, you can find someone else who can do it. This is my um, expansion of what he, uh, the, 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 set, uh, the, 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 word, the teachings of the kitchen core. You need to be earnest, diligent to complete these good deeds. So treat this as number one task, your priorities. You know, sweep away all that uh, little things, all that wandering thoughts, all that, that whispers in your ears. Only think of this main thing powerful thing, the good things, the, the, the bright things, the good things. And if you have ability to do it, do it. No matter how hard the logistic is, hard, or how easy it is by just simply do it. Or like, it's just a matter of, it's just a matter of uh, a few seconds of the time, a few hours of the time. Or if it's hard, you need to find someone else to support, maybe setting up, uh, like what you do now, setting up a computer and stuff. But you still want to do it. This, this, this is something right, and you, you say like, I don't care how hard it is, I still do it. So this is good deeds, and obviously, good deeds itself, you do not cling to its fame, do not cling to its rewards. You just do it because it's right, and it makes your heart open. So, uh, be earnest, be patient. You will not see result for a while, or you might not even see the result yourself. Um, but do it either way. But if you cannot do it, it's beyond your ability. Be earnest and diligent in completing it in, in other way. So find someone who can do it. Find an organization who are willing to do it. Find a person who are actually in that right position. Or keep it in your back of your mind. Every time you have a chance, find someone who can complete this. 
and support them as much as you can. So this is one form of um, changing your life, basically, in a, in a more practical way. Keep it simple. Keep it focused on the, on the good deeds that you can do. And leave all that so-called wandering thoughts, last greed. Um, because when you say wandering thoughts, it's too general. Talking in more detail, greed. Uh, and then a more detailed form of greed is lust, which is very strong. And then this fakeness. Fakeness is like trying to be, um, trying to put up a face of, uh, you know, polite or anything. But in, in the, in the, uh, in the, in behind the scenes, it, nothing is real. It should not be like that. Politeness should not be a form of, um, uh, uh, should not be abused as, as a form of a facade to cover your, uh, badness. Like it should be used from a politeness in, in a right way. It should be a way to deliver your kindness out in the most gentle and acceptable format. But it should not be used uh, to cover up your bad deeds or cover up the intention that are, um, the mal intentions, the bad intentions. So, <clears throat> um, then he goes straight forward, giving him the conditions you need to do. Number one, patience. That's it, patience. Be patient. Number two, be persistent. Have a, a long-term thinking. No short-term result, no short-term yield, short-term gain, none of this nonsense. Patience, long-term, always persist. And and this has to be done in your daily life, one by one, one by one. And he has warned him, so after these two conditions, patience and persistence, uh, do not be lazy. Do not lie to yourself. Uh, do not uh, be a self um, uh do not be self-deceiving, do not be uh, lazy, uh, and keep at it, keep at it day by day. Eventually, you will, you will receive a certain result from your good deeds, your test. So you will, you, receive, you will still receive a test even though you don't think about it. So this is the procedure thing, that it will happen. All right? You plant the seeds, you water it, you do it every day, you take care of the weeds. We call it wandering thought as a weed. You weed away all these wandering thoughts. You keep that one thing pure and secure. No matter how big the world is or so how messy the world is, you always keep going at that. Uh, 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 pure heart and all that. Good deeds. And eventually you will see the results or omen of a result coming in. Uh, Mister, your family matters for me. 圣剑节, oh, Mr. You yourself is being very sincere when you're praying to my help. So that means he has to have that. He still have semblance of a real heart when he's trying to seek for help. Uh, I have seen your sincerity when you're asking for my help. So I take this form to as a sign of gratitude to you. Uh, I give this advice in the form as a form of gratitude or repaying back your sincerity. That's why I'm here to give you the advice. Now, uh, it's also a reply from the heaven uh, towards your request. So once he finished, he um, oh, so once he finished the words, uh, it's like one of those scenes where he walked into the room, maybe the living room or something, or his study room uh, of Mr. Yu. And then when Mr. Yu follow up earnestly, respectfully behind him, when he lift his head up, he's gone. So, then, then you understand that yes, this is a this is an officials from above, and of course he um, started by burning incense to say thank you, Mr. Zhang or AKA um, Kitchen God, and tomorrow he immediately saw in saw in office in a sense like on a hand on a Bible and saw in, but this time it's for real, not for show. Um, he um the next day he saw in front of heavens and earth that I would change myself. Uh and I would start earnestly doing good deeds. Shi Xing San Shi actually proceed with the good deeds. Uh that's where his name changed. So Yu of the pure heart. We use the English way of understanding. Mr. Yu of pure heart. So he changed himself to Jing Yi. So he has sworn in in front of the heaven and earth, and he has put himself a title, I, from now on, will purify my heart. Uh, 
So in full form of uh, the word, 敬意道人, a cultivator who wished to purify his heart, a cultivator of the way who wished to purify his heart. And there's a, there's a, pure, there's a value of name. It's used to remind yourself. And back then, he used the name as just a way to cover his bad deeds. But right now, he used the name to remind himself not to commit the bad deeds. So that's the importance of name in this way. And he swore in that he would get rid of all that wandering thoughts. Um, so in the beginning of his action, now it's the practicality of it. So in the practical um, day-to-day, first day or in the beginning of his reformation, he has a lot of um, wandering thoughts, a lot of this last street, uh, a lot of this um, still that habits of faking it and stuff like that, uh, flying around in his mind. That means it's, it's, it's his, his mind space is not clean yet. Uh, and he always have the doubts or the laziness. <laughs> that explains every, that helps everyone to understand why is it so hard. <clears throat> and um, after many days, it's still like that. See, it's not like, no, no one just point at your head and then you just change. No, okay. <laughs> it takes time. Um, and he's still in that state of go trying to get out, but he's still sinking in his habits, sinking in his old mode of thinking. It's like a Jing Chan talker, right? Uh, like a, uh, I mean, check in English. Uh, someone's trying to get out of the shell, like a butterfly getting out of the cocoon. Yes, that struggling part. Think of that, struggling to get out of the cocoon. Um, and to help him, he find one of the best person to help, especially among us um, East Asian. He loved them. He set a Guan Yin form in front of his uh, main hall, his family, uh, in his home. So he set a statue of Bodhisattva Abaloi Kitesvara, or Bodhisattva Guan Yin, more colloquially known as Guan Yin, uh, in front of the main hall. Um, just a short, um, short uh, interlude. Guan Yin means observant of the sound, sound from the beings, also the sound from his heart. So this is very um, suitable because he needs someone to hear his, his, his help. So he set Guan Yin in front, uh, observant of the sound, the Bodhisattva who observe the sound of the world and help them when, wherever they need. And he, every day he prostrate and the most um, highest form of respect in deeds to show your highest form respect in um, Chinese context is you kneel and then you're prostrate but your head touches the ground and you repeat repetitively do it uh, repeat the action stand and prostrate stand and prostrate and every time you prostrate your head should touch the ground because of his repetitive action of prostrating and head touching the ground he has done that so much until his head has um, started to bruise and bit of a blood coming out. That's a, that's a very common way to describe someone who actually is really earnest in getting one thing done, asking for help. And every time he repeats his wow, um, may my th- kind deeds, may my, kind, may, may my thoughts of kindness um, remain pure forever. May my kind thoughts remain pure forever. May my um, motivations to do good, uh, be earnest. Um, may, may, I, may I keep motivated to do good deeds. May my kindness remain pure forever. Uh, if I have a slight um, slack in my thoughts, if I have a slight, uh, a slither of slack, slackiness in my thoughts, I'll fall, I'll fall into the realm of hell. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even have that courage because I slept almost every single hour except now. That's a problem. There's a difference between me and Mr. Yu is entirely different situation. Obviously, when you can see his sincerity, he, he does not fall down. So. Every morning, um, he chant Guan uh, Yin Pusa's uh, name, Namota Bei Guan Yin Pusa, all the great compassionate Bodhisattva, all the great compassionate Bodhisattva. 
here chant every day 100 times it's not a lot so good time <laughs> enough for him to concentrate uh to um, pray for a how to say a guide through this um maybe from chen from a form of oracles or, or from of dreams i don't know she's just praying for help because this is like big thing you are in this cocoon you're first person trapping in there you need someone else who already out there gone like we're talking about if you want to put it in more human way someone already been been through what you've been through seeing you trying to get out of that phase that he already has long gone out this is what he actually did to bodhisattva Kwan. he's asking someone who's already liberated from this problem going back and help so nothing mystical about this this is actually very real someone who has done that make a vow uh, even though that person's actual person is no longer in this world or maybe they are you never know They're next to you the thing is that spirit of reform the spirit of being compassionate remains in the world <laughs> this is something i need to remind to the people nowadays don't stuck in the cocoon we call signs or we call or so sort of a thought or thinking those things is what you see your lens can only see 85 degree 10 degree some people already done 360 degree if you want to talk science then they can give you a science of big bang and tell you how the universe contract and expand better than you are so don't be arrogant to the modern people including myself so we're in this cocoon we're to get out of it um we need to ask someone who already gone out and help us a little bit you yourself must be willing to get out that's the first thing and that's what mr Zhang's mission is to bring that awareness so mr yu has already had a strong while to get out then he asked for help from someone who has already gone out of that trap to help him and that's what he did every day by making it real committing sincere talk to yourself you might become fake uh how to say it might be a fake thing the first time you say it there's 10 times you say it, the 100 times you say it. But eventually, if you repeat to yourself long enough, it becomes reality. It becomes real to you. It becomes something actually happen. Obviously, your action needs to reflect it as well in your capability. Like, even though you get pushed back by your own habits, you, you keep doing it, eventually it becomes a real thing to you. And this is how it works, confidence as well. You have to be a bit more foolhardy. I think he already have learned the value of being foolhardy and not being too smart. He was very smart back then. And there's a reason why so many smart people in the world don't get what they want. Don't get the, the top of the world. Some people are not smart, but they have that. Just the right amount of ingredient, the persistence, obviously the fortune from the past life or from the good deeds. And all this combined together, they achieve success. A lot of smart people work under that person. So, so right now he has learned to be persistent. So from now on, every single word, every single act, every single thought, every single time, he lives as though someone's looking at him in a like a police or like a ghost or a spirit being up looking at him, like recording every single details to force him to be upright, proper, prudent. You do not dare to be uh you do not dare to act imprudently you don't dare to um, lie or uh, let himself off and get uh, reckless he do not let himself be reckless and every time he has um ability to help people monetarily or actually helping them helping him or any things he has in his possession that could help people uh no matter how big how small uh, how busy or how free he is uh, whether people know or not know uh, whether he could do it or could not do it in in in, in its full completion he will always uh, commit so he commit to everything no matter how big the thing is how small the thing is uh, he will continue to do it so he don't think too much about ah what if what if no he just do it in fact oh okay this problem i can't okay, find someone else so that kind of foolhardiness, guys, like it's time, it's good to be what we call a simpleton, but in this form of simpleton who simply want to get good deeds done or simply want to help people, 
that kind of people is what makes this person above the 99% of the others. Because a lot of people, we always try to protect that instinct of protecting ourselves is strong, which is understandable. But um, if we want to get above this ordinary assistance, then this is what makes one person stand out above the others. And he continues, and Wei Chu Chen Jiu Er Ho Zhi. So he do it until it's completed, or he assist it until it's completed. Um, and then Sui Yuan Fang Bing Guang Ji Ying Dong. Yeah, and then he uh, follows whatever conditions, he accord with whatever conditions present to him uh, and help in secret. So he doesn't want to say, oh, I want to do this. He's just like, okay, if I can help, I help. Sometimes that person that helped by him doesn't even know he helped. I'm like, why is this happening well so smoothly? There you go, guys. Uh, a tips to be a uh, to to get hidden virtues. Remember, hidden virtue is the best thing among all the virtues or um, all the good deeds. Hidden good deeds is the best. Uh, that's a beautiful word. So, and then he followed his um, responsibility as a father, as a husband, as a son. Uh, he, I think his parents still there. So, good deeds, uh, hidden virtues, and then he himself follow uh, do his duty, duty as a father, as a husband, as a son. Uh, learn earnestly, keep reading the good books. Uh, any religion have their own good books. In Chinese, the Confucius, Buddhism, the Sutras. Uh, and be humble. Yes, that's what Liao Fan said. Be humble. So everything he says is actually what Liao Fan is trying to, the progression that he's mentioned. Reform, Mr. Zhao, then good deeds, what he did. And then humble, to preserve what you have done. And most important, uh, patience. And not just any patience. Patience in face of humilities, humiliations. Able to withstand humiliation, not, not jump at it. Uh, so, and then follow the teachings of Taishan, I think, uh, of the teachings of cause and effect uh, to advise every single person he met. Uh, okay, and instead of Gong Guo Ge, I think he's take, instead of um, recording it in a in an Excel sheet, spreadsheet checklist, uh, his, his case is every single month, uh, he will calculate um, what he did for a month. I think he actually used the box as well of ticking it. Otherwise, how can he calculate? So he calculated what he did um, for a month uh, and submitted to the to the kitchen court so that uh, please submit it to the heavenly emperor of what I did. Um, okay, this is beautiful. This is his level now. Right, like I said, like everyone can reform. Like this is his level. So what's his level when he did that at the end, at the end of his perform, or at the at the at the good stage of the, at the pick up stage of his perform? He has done this to a level, this good deeds, good thoughts, good act, uh, to a level where when he moves a thought, there's only kindness. That mental space only allows good deeds coming in. So all sorts of good deeds are there, like all forms of helping people liberating people, saving people, stuff like that, empowering people. And it's practical. When he do not think anything, nothing comes in. So his mind is completely clean. So when he moves his thought, all good deeds arrives, all good thoughts arrives, and he acts on it when he can. And when he uh, do not move, or do not think, do not need to think, anything, nothing comes in. It's clean, a clean, clean piece of uh, clean, clean piece of paper, canvas. And this has been persistent for three years. So at the age of 50, 47, he met Mr. Zhao, uh, uh, the kitchen god of Mr. Zhang. And Mr. Zhang has pointed out his error of his ways he reformed. And he struggled in the beginning of first year. And then after three years, at the age of 50, uh, he went for exam. He tried his, uh, he tried again. 
because it failed twice. So let's try again the third time for the uh, imperial examination. Um, at that time, Mr. Zhang, not the Zhang, the kitchen god, just a person, uh, Zhang Jiangding, he has um, become one of the uh, examiner, supervisor of the exam. So the point of his doing this book is the same as what Master, Mr. Liao Fan trying to do with his book. It's meant for his own children, next generation, to read what your ancestor did uh, to get to this point. And you should do the same if you want to change your life for better. So he has the same intention. Uh, and he has enjoyed a long life at the age of 88. Made 88 is a long life. Even now, by modern standard, 88 is still a long life. A lot of people pass away at 70 or 80. Not a short of 80. So, 人皆以为实行善事会天暴雨. Yeah. So everyone say that because he has been truly kind truly reformed to be a truly kind person. The heavens were paid. Uh, and that's it. The last sentence is just one of his um, one of his family or one of his students helped him to compile his teachings. So that's it for Mr. Yu who met the kitchen god. It's very short. Can be finished within two uh, because I started late. So it's actually an hour 120. Sorry guys. Uh, there you go. Two two lessons. And this is as fast as the Brisbane Temple did as well. I think they also finished it within a few days. The problem is not short or long. The problem is how condensed it is, how many information. And yes, this is like when you read Mr. Nelfans, you have a very detailed theory and all that. And all the cases are more um, distant. They are more like it's a case study and the third person. When you read Mr. Yu, it's like you're in there fully immersed in his story because he's talking about himself. No one's better than writing about yourself than yourself. And he has wrote his perspective and the whole journey and how he get out and how he met Mr. The Kitchen God who tell him the uh, the perspective from above. We had seen all of it. So it's a, it's a book that worth revising. If you're like me, lazy, use this kind of session to force yourself to revise it. Uh, I, I actually like to see like because there's no English um, there is English translation, but nothing is better than reading it from the source material. And every time I read the source material, there is more coming out. Like I, I talk this one time and then I repeat again next time I got even more stuff coming out from that. So in conclusion, uh, same as the Alphan story, but more detailed. We need to be real to ourselves need to understand that Mr. Yu does not get by easily uh, when the started to reform. He know what is wrong. He actually wants to change it. And he actually still got seduced by his habits in the beginning. He said that he still get lazy, he still have all that lust for thought and all that bad thoughts coming out. And it's real. It's how human change. They don't change a day, they change a year, month. You take your time to do it. Obviously, he didn't stop. That's the best thing is he didn't stop. He's patient. He don't jump the gun. He wait for the right moment and he accumulates his strength by prayer, by frustration. Actually, talk to Guan Yin Pusa, Bodhisattva, everything. I want to change this. I really want this to happen. And what helps him actually is his calamities in his earlier life. A lot of us could not do that or do not reach that level of sincerity. I'm not talking about some outside things. Those things can be done. You can do the same thing as he is. But that level of intense, that level of concentration, it's concentration of sincerity, in some form, his calamity is his foundation for his fortune. Huoxi, fuxi, fuxi, huoxi, according to the I Ching. The, every time there's a disaster, there might be a blessing in disguise of disasters. Every time there's a blessing or some good things happen, there's always a hidden danger inside it. And that's what I Ching trying to tell you. Do not get content with, you know, when things good get along, do not float. Stay on the ground. Hold your ground. So same thing, when bad things happen, do not shrink. Stand your ground. Understand that there is a way to get out. So Mr. Yu, 
although he has done a lot of bad thing a lot of bad in his time he accepts the teachings and this kind of really terrible thing that happened to them losing children losing your only son get nowhere in your life a lot of people some couldn't couldn't hold it they just end their life no don't do that what mr yu is telling us is there is a there is uh, there is a way when you really want to change it or when you reform yourself when you understand where it goes wrong if you can't ask for help even from the divines if a christian ask for the help maybe someday jesus will come out in front of you and tell you what's wrong if you're a buddhist ask for buddha's help you know, they will tell you what goes wrong with me and i have one of my friends who tells me uh, she dreamt that one of the uh, days I'm, I'm talking about the case where i have too much bad thoughts and i watch too much like violent material play too much games they have violent in it and one of my friends dreamt that we used to float on the sky and then suddenly we first i keep talking about if i was an emperor i would use the you know beheading to punish all these bad people so i use a lot of hatred terms in terms of like anger trying to be uh, just full but i have a lot of anger so it, it's true like and then when they talk i no longer float i fall to the ground so basically it's telling me that if i keep going on this kind of hateful thoughts or thoughts of anger i will not accumulate my merits i will lose my merits that i supposed to ascend or supposed to be on the good track but i fall because of my lust because of my anger so it's a reminder that if you if you really want to do it even though my sincerity is nowhere near mr Yu, i'm not going to give up what i have that little sincerity i need to preserve it everyone too you have that most precious vulnerable part they are true and real that part is actually what you need to strengthen on and get better and better get stronger and stronger um and don't be too smart everyone say oh, let's be smart uh, don't trust people easily uh, be aware be wary. those are right those are sh shells to protect what's important to you your wife your husband your children your parents but you do not want to be just an animal who are trying to survive we want to go beyond that we are humans guys there's a reason why we are human not just animal in this darwinism strong eats the weak because we have ability to do what is right a flaw with order and we are want to go beyond the hard law and order we have virtues we have morals and those virtues and morals shape who we are make the society livable no longer like a there's a dog eat dog world kind of mindset uh, and this needs us do it in the individual capacity in our little communities um, start with you know um, people are very doubtful of goodness compared to Mr. Yu's time. Mr. Yu's time is to believe in gods, believe in uh, morals, punishment, divine punishment. Although some of them can be superstitious, in the very least, they believe in punishments of bad and rewards of the good, even though it may not come in one life. Nowadays, a lot of people have doubt and they fall into the trap of um, strong bodies, the weak. It happens in the back then, it always happened, but the problem is we cannot let that, that line of humanity falls we need to understand that as long as you're willing to do it you will be rewarded all humiliation that you encounter is from the past it has to be cleaned that thing is had to be cleaned away so that you can receive good fortune so it's a inevitability for you to clean up your past record but if you keep doing the good record now there's a reason why one of the bad things he did is thinking about the past wandering hopelessly to the future because he didn't do anything in the presence he continues all his bad habits and he regenerates the condition for bad habits and that's what buddha is coming into our world is to tell us you don't have to do that you don't have to trap into this cycle you can change you can reform you're not stuck in your caste back in buddha's era everyone has the caste system in india even now and then in our modern term you don't you're not stuck with some sort of a but fate you can change it so mr yu is showing us how to change it in the most detailed way first person perspective and i hope we can use it to a certain degree practicable see they, they didn't tell you you have to be a sage suddenly he said if you can do it 
if you are able to do it, don't think too much. Just do it. The help will come. Some, seriously, like help will come. They will, like suddenly there will be someone giving you a hand you don't know. As long as you have the heart to want to do it, your life will change. Yeah. So be a bit more foolhardy in this term, in, in terms of good deeds. Even it takes personal cost. As long as you're willing, you will be rewarded. The heavens will reward you. People won't reward you, the heavens will reward you. The heavens is the, it's a more concrete way to say, a more artistic way to say, laws of cause and effect. Don't, don't, be faith, have faith. Have faith in goodness. And no matter what we call it, God, Allah, something like that, they are all trying to bring out that goodness in us. And without goodness, we can't say about those big theories that Mahayana Buddhism is teaching. No, there's no foundation for that high things. We need to have this foundation first. And this foundation cannot be just Buddhist, Chinese. It has to be the world foundation. And that foundation has to have a common understanding, human good, common good. And those good are all taught by the good religions. Religions is a form of, although Venerable might say it's superstitious, but in a, in a form, it always teaches good. We just need to correct that mindset. You have to put human agency in this sort of cause and effect, not just put everything to the external power. There's something I like to share with the world is you need to be good enough. There's a word in Bible saying that God will only save those willing to save himself. You're not going to be saved for salvation. We will just sit there like Mr. Yu did the same thing. He prayed to the heavenly emperor and said, help me, help me, I'm a good person. No, reform. Look at yourself. Are you actually a good person deserving of it? Heaven is fair. God is fair. Allah is fair. Right? But Buddha, I mean, Buddha is not judging. He's a teacher. So he teaches you, you need to reform yourself first. Speech, look at your mouth, look at your thoughts, and look at your action. Are they in accordance to the teaching you follow? If you're Christian, are they in accordance to the Ten Commandments? If you're Muslim, are they in accordance to your Qurans? If you're Buddhist, are they in accordance to the Ten Virtues Deep Sutras? If you're Confucius, are you in accordance to the Confucius uh, Five uh, Normalities, the 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 Wudong Wu Chang Si Wei Ba, all the teachings? Or to put put it more simpler, less religiosity, are they benefiting the world? Uh, so those are universal, and those can be used across any religion or lack of any religion. They are they're human agencies. They're about humans, and uh, it no matter how high your sciences or anything is, you need this. Otherwise, you will use nuclear. This is why nuclear happened. This is why all this tra terrible stuff happened. There's no moral agency in this. Everyone has, everyone thinks they are number one. And then no one is respecting anyone. There's no higher form of authorities that uh, people all look up to. Authority is not as in controlling of freedom, as in moral authority, as in, in the Europe, the old days, they're called church. In, 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 in Chinese context, there's Confucius. Every emperor has to pray to Confucius. Even though they are not fully practicing it, they need to show that they respect the teachings. So in modern words, we need our modern form of so-called church or Confucius praying, in the sense that we need to some sort of a code for the human to respect, that everyone could respect no matter where they came from. So, from big to small, we, we just need to start. <laughs> and uh, I'm far, I'm far from this, but um, I, I like Mr. Yu's teaching. It's very concrete. Before I end this, um, do you guys have any any points that I you like me to explore or you like to share? So I can uh, bring this up in our next youth group meeting. Or any comments? Yep. Yep. You definitely got it. Definitely got it. Yeah. Because you do it for the for, for the for the Dharma, for the sake of people. Congratulations. This is Ganyin. Ganyin. Yeah, this is the response to the will. Yeah. Response. I think Ganyin has two forms, like Ganyin as in Yo Gan Yo Ying Ma. So it's like a, 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 a remitter and receiver. So it's like response. And then it comes uh, uh, it comes in the form of um, cause and effect retributions. What yin, like what comes out, what you what comes to you is what you goes out to. 
what you send is what you receive. What you reap is what you sow. Yeah. But it's it's one thing. Basically, if you got it, like the practical part, right? If you got the right steps, and eventually you reach what you need to reach, what you where your where your vow is. It's not constant, so it's just a matter of time. I mean, really want to put in your heart. Mr. Yu say, not not what I say. Mr. Yu say, I just translate. Yeah. In fact, Master Pushin told me like to get. I think not. He told me like he always share Master Ching Kong. He never say his own word. He's always follow the teaching of his teacher. He's an example for us how to follow teacher. He say like never some the best thing is actually not thinking about never some That one is just a term. The best form is like exactly what Mr. Yu is doing. Clean up all the rubbish, focusing on one thing in there, like Amitofo or like what you do right now, focusing to get this recording right, no matter what happens. Those are the good deeds that are in your power that you can do. You are, you are doing it and keep doing it. And like you say, you already have response and from the from above. As you keep doing it, you get stronger and stronger and it becomes natural. You don't even think about it. And that's when you're out of that, still want to think about it level. Eventually, it will come to you. When people gain name for something, they don't think, oh, I got name for something. The Amitabha will tell you if you get them If you keep thinking name for something, name for something, you will not get for something. <laughs> like Arahat, attain Arahat, but they don't know their Arahat. That means they sever all the delusions, the awakening. Only Buddha comes to him and says, you have attained Arahat. Oh, that's what you call Arahat. Because they have no concept, no attachment. So, name for some is, but if you naturally just turn up, like, like what you're doing now, you practice only focusing on getting, say right now, I'm focusing on Master Shewu's recording. No matter what happened, I want to get it done. And then you let go of all that worries and wondering. If it comes, then you fix it one by one, like what you're doing. And you, if you're really out of your health, you ask for help from the from above, Amitofo, because you're doing it for the Dharma, and you really want to get this done. And right now you record this, you want to get this done. Like, ah, oh, Dylan's being lazy, you need to shift for them. Okay, so, so you encourage me to do good things. So, I also pray to the Amitofo to get this thing perfect, done properly. And then, obviously, when you're free, uh, you turn up it off for and all that. And you just do it like a very normal thing, like you eat, like you sleep. And then eventually, if this gets stronger and stronger, all this worry get weaker and weaker, you're surrounded by that. Like what? when you move, you always think about either good or amitofo. Either amitofo or either good. Or never, never rubbish. And when you don't do anything, when you steal, uh, you don't think of any wandering thoughts. Or even you chant Amitofo, it, nat- or it, it naturally comes out. So, so, then if you reach a certain intensity, Amitabha Buddha will tell you, congratulations, you have reached this level. Now you're in uh, ability to go pure land at will. Now your age, this is all recorded, not said by me, it's Wang Sen Zhuan. They will always tell you how, how many years you have left, 30, 40 years left. Um, uh, if you want to go, uh, you will be going at what time, what date, in these 40 years. Maybe it's too long for you to remember, they might not tell you. He's very compassionate. So, do not ask for name for something. Just do what you need to do. Know, know that name for something is what you need, and then you do what you're doing already. Naturally, it tells you. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I, this is what I understand. I was like, I, I should not overthink. Cause Back then, I'm like, I'm worse than what you say. Like, I was like, I keep thinking, oh, if I go to Pure Land, I can do this, do that. No, like, no, like, if I become a prime minister, if I become a, 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 a official, I can do a lot of good things. I can promote Confucius teaching and all that. And then right now, I do nothing. Like, at the end of the day, I just sit there and waste my time. Instead of actually knowing what I want, yes, these are good goals. And what I'm doing, actually, do I actually do towards that goal? Do I actually work towards it? So, keep going, keep going. Uh, be, to, bo. 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 Uh, 
and virtue accrue from this work dedicated to all beings um, who are suffering from natural disaster, COVID-19, wars in Ukraine, etc. Uh, and all the karmic creditors, uh, ours, our families, our relatives, and all beings. Um, may we all uh, Repent our past wrongdoing, reform ourselves, be earnest in, be faithful in the good teachings and goodness of humanity, um, and actually follow the teachings uh, of the sages. Adorn the Buddha's pure land, repay the four kinds of kindness above, and relieve the sufferings of those in the three paths below. May those who see and hear of this, all oh, bring forth the heart of understanding and compassion, and leave the teaching for the rest of this life, then be born together in the land of ultimate bliss. Ami Thank you so much for today's session. Uh, Hope to see you guys next week.